In this video, let us derive an expression for the electric potential due to a, a dipole. So, in the first chapter, we have derived the expression for the electric field at the axial point and the equatorial point due to a dipole. Now, let us try to get an expression for the electric potential. So, let us consider an arrangement of charge that is the dipole, say one charge plus Q here and the minus Q here. So, let us mark this as the midpoint of the dipole axis. So, this will be A and this will be A. Now, let us consider a point, say point P, where we have to find the potential. So, we want to get an expression for the potential at P. So, let us consider or as, let us take the distance from the point from the center of the dipole as the arc. So, if you take the vector, there is from say point O2 P, the position vector will be vector R. Now, let us take from the positive charge, this let us take it as a R1 and the distance from here to the negative charge, let us take it as a R2. Now, what we want? We want the potential at the point P. Since the potential is a vector, so potential at P, potential at P, I can write V is equal to V at P is due to potential due to positive charge and pos potential due to the negative charge. This I can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R1 plus minus Q 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus Q by R2. So, I can simplify this to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught or the Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Hereafter, this is an expression, but we do not want in terms of R1 and R2, instead of that we need the potential expression for the potential in terms of the distance r that is at what point from the center of the dipole. So, now let us try to get an expression r1 and r2 in terms of r. Hereafter it is a purely maths. So, we will use the trigonometric relation that is let us take this angle as theta. So, let us use the trigonometric relation sides and angle. So, I can write this as say r1 square I can write it as say r square plus a square minus 2 a r into cos theta. Let us slightly rearrange this. So, I will take r square out of, I will take it common. So, this become a square by r square minus 2 a cos theta by r. Now, since it is a dipole, the distance between the charges itself is small. Now, since this is very very small term, this is 2a, a itself a small term. So, the square when you square the smaller terms, it still becomes smaller. So, this term r square by sorry a square by r square fraction will be very small, which is negligibly small. So, I will leave this term and I will write this as r square into 1 minus 2a cos theta by r. Now, in the term of Vp, what we need is r1. So, let us the, take the square root 1 by r1, let us write. Therefore, I can write it as 1 by r1 is equal to 1 by r into 1 minus 2a cos theta by r whole to the power minus half. Again here to simplify this, we can use the binomial expression for the expansion of this 1 minus 2a cos theta by r is the in terms of a by r. So, we will expand this and we will take only the first power to the power of a by r. So, I can simplify this 1 by r1 is equal to 1 by r into I will simplify this, this become 1 plus a by r into cos theta. This is the negative power, so this becomes plus. So, 1 by r1 is equal to 1 by r into 1 plus a by r cos theta. Similarly, 
I can write 1 by R2 is equal to this become 1 by R into 1 minus A by R cos theta. Now let us take this to be a star. Now let us substitute this equation, equation 1 and equation 2 in the expression of Vp. So we will get Vp is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into you substitute this 1 by R s 1 plus A by cos A by A cos theta by R minus 1 minus of minus becomes plus 1 A by R cos theta. So, 1 1 gets cancelled thus this I can write it as 2 A cos theta divided by this R and R. So, this becomes a R square. So, I can write V p is equal to Q by 1 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 A cos theta divided by R square. Now, further if I can simplify this this becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into I will take this 2 A Q together I can take this as 2 A Q into cos theta divided by R square. Now this I can write it as 2 A Q we know that 2 A Q gives me what is nothing but the dipole moment of the dipole. So, I can write this 2 A Q as a P. So, I can write it as V P is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught to P cos theta divided by the R square. So, this is the general expression for the potential at a point at any point due to a dipole. So, I can write it as V p is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p cos theta divided by R square where p stands for p is nothing but p is nothing but 2 A q that is nothing but dipole moment. The dipole moment p. So, V p is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p cos theta divided by r square. So, this is a general expression for the potential. Now, if you want to get an expression or the get the expression for the potential at a point say along the axis say somewhere else here. I want to find out a potential at the axial line then when this point p comes to the axial line this theta goes to 0. So, when I substitute theta to be 0. So, for an axial line let us write here say P at an axial line or else along the axis. Now, V P I can write theta goes to 0 then cos theta becomes equal to 1. So, I can write the potential P is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into P by R square. Substituting here V P is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught I can write it as V P is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P by R square. Similarly, if you think of a point along the equatorial say bisector point say somewhere else here if you take the point P now the theta comes to be equal to 90 degree. So, for the equatorial or the bisector P on the perpendicular bisector bisector theta goes to 90 degree that implies cos theta goes to 0 therefore, the potential V P will be equal to 0. So, what we get? We get that along the perpendicular bisector that is at the midpoint this anywhere the point if you think of the point P along the perpendicular bisector the potential goes to 0. This is a next. Next if you think of now if you look at the expression wherein the expression of the potential. 
say if you think of the pot derive or the expression vp is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught p cos theta divided by r square let us make slight arrangement let us multiply this by r and multiply here by r so this i can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this i can write p r cos theta divided by r cube this p r cos theta i can write in a vector form as say v p is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this i can write vector p dot vector r divided by the r cube wherein this p p is nothing but the dipole vector which points from say minus to plus so that is a dipole moment so dipole moment vector here and r is nothing but the position vector from o to the point p so this will be the vector r so i can write this vp is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p dot r divided by r cube this is the general expression for the potential at a point due to a dipole so you can use it for the axial that is along the axis or along the bisector or any point which makes an angle of theta so you can use this formula vp is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon vector p dot vector r divided by r cube or else you can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p cos theta divided by r square.